this is Mary at the Mary Atier. And you all know that I have been experimenting with doing some foiling in my last few videos. And I want to experiment. I want to see if I can foil on acetate. Now, this is an unlisted stream. I don't even see it on my own tablet. So, we'll see how this goes. I have here some report covers. And they're pretty clear. They're, they also are fairly thin. So we're going to take a report cover and experiment with it. And I also have some a chopping mat. Uh, I think there are two here. And I think that they are more translucent than transparent. But we're going to experiment with these, too. These I got at the dollar store. Uh, they're inexpensive. The report covers I got at an office supply store. I bought a box of them. This is more translucent than transparent. There's a little bit of a film on it, but it's not too bad. And let me put some paper behind this just to, so you can see it a little bit better. We'll, we'll experiment with the report cover first. And I'm just going to put the paper in between here. I thought it might be fun to, if I can foil on these to make some transparent... Well, you could do a lot of things. Transparent art journal page, but also it would be fun to make some artist trading cards, wouldn't it? So let's put a little piece of foil down as an experiment. Let's just trim it off here. I always say that I don't like this foil that's on the roll. It's it's kind of hard to manipulate. My scissors always go crooked on it and it rolls back on me. And I always get a, <laughs> a crooked cut. It helps a little if I have something that I can put down to hold it while I'm trying to put it down. So a piece of cardboard, a stamp image. And let's get some washi tape and tape this on. And I don't think these foiling pens get that hot that it will melt the, the plastic. That's really my concern. Well, if I can find the start of my tape here. must be on the other side here. Usually on this one, I don't have a big problem finding the, here it is, the beginning. We're just going to tape this down to hold the foil in position. And let me zoom in. Now, I really don't have an image that I want to foil. Um, what could I use here? I was using magazine images. Let's see if I can find one fast. Well, I'm saving some things for my journal. Here, let's look in this. Let's look in this magazine. Um, I'm finding that a heavier paper does not work if you're trying to foil an image from a, a heavier paper onto your foiling. But the magazine pages themselves do work pretty good. <laughs> Here's an image where I put myself running on the beach with these two kids. Away beats the heck out of any recess. <laughs> I'll have to save this one out. Oh, and here I'm going to the grocery 
grocery store and thrift store. I'm going shopping. It looks like I was playing in this magazine. Let's see if I can find an image to pull out. A uh, quick image. Something fairly recognizable that would be nice to foil. Do, 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 do. This is a Magnolia magazine. Ooh, there's a butterfly and a couple butterflies. Let's put my hand there. I might come back to that. That is a Proven Winners Lo and Behold Butterfly Bush. <laughs> there's an apricot. Here's the food section. Oh, I like that image. That would be perfect for Mother's Day. I don't know. Let's see if, if that'll fit. Yes, it will. Let's trim this out. And yeah, I think it will just fit on my page. And let me see. I can't see what you guys are seeing unless I stand up. Let me zoom in. There we go. And I'm doing this as an unlisted live. Which means you won't see it until I review the video and publish it. But it is a live stream. And it's more as an unlisted and then I go in and review the video and then if it's okay I go ahead and publish it. Now this will be more of a line drawing than a uh, a photograph image. This will be if I put my foiling and my purpose of this is to see if I can foil on a report cover. I have these foil quill pens by We Are Memory Keepers. I got mine on Amazon with some Christmas money that I got from Lucia, Dee Dee, and Pink Girly. They're called foil quill pens. And they have a UCB cord or USB cord. I keep calling it UCB. It's a USB cord that plugs into a USB socket that I've got a port over here on my laptop. And that heats up the pen. The little dot is green, which means that it's been heated up. So let's see if this will actually foil on the acetate. Let's see if I'm close up enough that you guys can... Well, let me come in just a little bit more. Now this image is not, of course, my art. This is an image that I'm using out of the Magnolia magazine. But I'm just using it for my own art journaling purposes and for my own experimenting here. I'm not intending to republish this anytime soon. <laughs> and I am really curious to see if this will foil on the acetate. And I am pressing down pretty hard on this, I'm putting pressure on my pen. Now I wonder if I can see from the back side what's going on. Oh yeah, I think it's working. Look, I think this is going to work. Ooh, that will be cool if I can foil on on these report covers. These would make not only cool report covers for, well, you could do a lot of things with them. You could cut them up and make artist trading cards, or you could actually do a report cover where you do some intricate foiling. foiling. You could make an art journal page, a transparent art journal page. Ooh, I'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out. It may or may not. That's my experiment here. Is it going to turn out? And you, you are only seeing 
me trace around the image because this is a boiling pen it's not an ink pen so in order for me to see where I've been I kind of feel the for the embossed areas and that tells me where I've already made my lines the only thing I have against these pens so far is they put this protective piece on here and it's hard to see the point as you are working with them and I know they do it for your protection but it's hard to see around that little point around this protection area to see the point of your pen and let's see if I can so you kind of have to you kind of have to see where you're going here and this will be real scratchy at first this will not be a beautiful image but it will be an experimental image and as you get I get more experience with foiling I'm a newbie at this as I learn what I'm doing I'll learn more techniques and just like anything you'll get better and better at it Let's put a fingernail on her here. I got her ring. I think I got both of her fingers there. Let's put her hand in here and her bracelet. And I am pressing down pretty hard on this. Now this is the baby's arm over here. She's hugging her little one. And her arm comes down this way, and her elbow, and she's got another bracelet on here. She's actually got three bracelets on. And let's see. I'm really anxious to see how this turns out. Now with these magazine images, because the paper's pretty thin and you're putting a lot of pressure on the image, I would think you'd only be able to get one or two unless you trace it out on another piece of paper. I generally don't do that. I generally just use the image as is here if the paper's thin. I'm finding out that if you have a thicker paper, like I did a seed package, and that didn't work at all, even on cardstock. And generally, my foiling works on cardstock. I think I went down over in this side. I don't know if I got this part of her hand, though. You kind of have to remember where you went. And another thing that I'm working with that I'm still experimenting with is doing more than one color of foil. And I'll do that in another video. I think I have a process. Right now we're just using gold foil. Now because I want to know I haven't done her face. Let's do her face. Her eyebrow here. And her eyebrow here. And because I don't have this up to my face, I can't really see. So it might look a little bit different. And here again, I am doing... She's got a smile, which kind of, her nose kind of covers up her. And then she's got high cheekbones. And we'll see how that looks. Now, because I want to know how a solid image, I think I'll do her hair. And I'm just going to kind of color it in. And I'm not sure how that's going to look on my 
image here. We shall see if it's going to color in solid or if it's going to be. And I think on my other images, like I was foiling on leather and it did not come out very good at all. But I think I was going too fast. I think I need to slow down so the pen has time to heat up the foil. I think when I tend, I tend to foil like I draw, forgetting that this is heat reactive foil, so it needs time to heat up as I'm moving my pen point across the image. So, uh, I have to keep reminding myself to slow down a little. And we're just going to give her some gold hair here. Of course she's got gold hair. She's a mother. And we'll see how this turns out. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't feel it melting the acetate. Now let's put some streaks in here for the baby's hair. Just some little... streaks in here. And do I want to do her sweater? I don't know. I think I will. And I'm just going to sort of like you're coloring in an area with a ballpoint pen. But maybe I need to go a little bit slower. Keep reminding myself of that. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. None whatsoever. <laughs> It may be a success and it may not. But I have enjoyed playing with these foil quill pens. I've enjoyed learning about them and learning about different things you can do with foiling. I've been wanting to try this foiling for about a year now and I never really invested until I got that Christmas money, and I thought I wanted something durable that I could get with the Christmas money. Something that I could use for several years. You know, you use paint up, you use paper up, you use up your washi tape on different projects, which is nice. But I want something I can use over and over and over and over again. And these foiling projects, these foiling pins were the answer for me. Shall we take it off and see what I have? It, it'll be a sketchy sketch. Let's see what I have. Uh, and generally I can tell, oh yeah, generally I can tell by looking at here. Now I might need to Take my foiling pen to the and just kind of color in some of this area. It is on. And yeah, I know you guys aren't seeing much. I don't know how much this is going to actually foil off. We shall see. We shall see. Foil on acetate. I don't know if it would even stick. I'm doing her hair in here. And I think I'm going to come back down. And I have to figure out where her... 
arm was and I did not take this clear off so her shoulder comes way out into here and this is all foiled in here up to up to that point so I think I missed some in here here, I believe. And this is a good experiment just to see how the foil works on acetate. And if you're doing something like this, and if you're not sure you got it all, don't, you know, I have this paper overlay. Don't uh, take off the top part, and you can just put it right back down again. And let's see, I did this baby's hair. I think I'll color that in a little bit more. And we shall see how this worked. Now, I don't think I did the baby's bottom here. He's just kind of getting lost in the hole. She's holding him, hugging him. Alrighty. So, let's take this off and see if it foiled. Take off the top part first. And then I'm kind of holding on to it in case I need to put it back down again. Let's peek. Shall we peek? Oh, oh wow. Oh, I love it. Now, I need to do more of the baby's hair. Let's do more of this baby's hair in here. So I might need to get out my calligraphy pen for what? This is just the, the regular point pen. Uh, there's a bold one, a calligraphy one, point, a fine point, a regular point, a bold point, and a calligraphy point, which is more of a chisel tip. And that might work for the broad areas like the sweater and the hair and the, and the baby's head. Let's see if I can't just foil this in. I'm just going to make it a round area in here. I think I'm going to like it though. I think it's going to look nice. I think it's going to turn out. Now we need some more foiling up here at the top of his head. Come on. Right up in here. That's what I'm saying. I think I go too fast. And I think a bolder point might get more of a foil off. If I go a little slower, it gives that pen time to react with the foil and heat it up and transfer it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm liking it. And see I'm noticing even on the on the arms here. I I drew that arm pretty fast and if I go back over it slow. I think I go too fast. And so it the pen doesn't have enough time to react. I don't give it enough time to heat up the foil. Yeah. 
This is good. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. You're going to see me playing more with foiling on report covers and acetate. Maybe making some artist trading cards. Transparent artist trading cards. And the other thing I want to do is experiment with different colors on one piece. I did that a little bit when I did the flower that we made for the card for Biz Up. Let's take this off and show it to you. Well, let's do her hair just a little bit more. Let's give her a little bit more hair over, over in here. I can see it. Almost right in here. You gotta play around with it. Now that doesn't look like much to you. <laughs> but when we pick this up, let's take it off again. This tape really is sticking down nice. I'll have to give it that. It always sticks when I don't want it to, and when I want it to, it doesn't. And I've been putting these foils in my art journal. Oh, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Let me stand up and hold it close up. Look at this. Look at it. There. Isn't that cool? Now, I could have done the baby's head. Now, it's got... I can feel where I put pressure... You can feel the, the embossed area where you put pressure on the plastic. It's not as smooth. And, of course, I I got it dirty, of course. Looks like Crayola wax. I'll just cut that off. This is my experiment. I, I think I foiled off of my... <laughs> off of my uh, desktop here, I heated it up. Let's see if I can just scrape that off. Clean it up a little over here. Boy, I really did it, didn't I? Ink. I think it's ink. Oh no, that's off the paper. This is off the paper. Let's pull the paper out. I got a little black spot on her nose there. Where is it? Clean this area up in here. There. This acetate, of course, attracts static. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool how that turned out? clean off the acetate here. I am really, I'm loving it. Fun experiment. A fun, fun, fun experiment. So, yeah, if you're into foiling, you might try some of this. I'm going to put these in my art journal as, as my experiment. Let's get my art journal out. Let me zoom out. Whoops. There we go. Let me put them in. This is my... I didn't... I didn't... Uh, I wanted to play around with this last night, but I was kind of tired. Now, I... This is... This is translucent. This isn't as clear as the other. We'll try this maybe Sunday night. I'll work with that. This... These would make nice ATCs because it's nice and heavy. So this is good for Mother's Day, a Mother's Day foiling project, if you can keep it clean. <laughs> and, you know, you could put a, a floral image in the background. I'm just going to put it in my my art journal. Well, my art journal, I have some floral pages here. 
that I like to put magazine images in my art journals just for interest between the pages like this. Let me unplug my foiling pen. Let's see how the see you'd have to get it ooh maybe on a on a text area like that. You'd have to have a pretty clear let's see if I have something that these are what I was working with last night. That's kind of cool. We could put it right in here though. I think right in here will work. And let's just take this and fold it over. I got my bobby pin. And let's just take this and yeah, that acetate collects everything. Staticky. Oh, it's not gonna all fit. Now let me let me trim a little of this off. So it'll it'll fit the page here. And we're gonna put it we're gonna put it like this. That's good. That's good. And then my my tag that I ended up putting white ink on. Well, it could come just a little bit more, about a half inch more off of this. I have to experiment. I'm just cutting cutting this end off a little so that I can fit it into my journal. This could actually be cut off a little too. These are report covers, so they're naturally a little bit wider than an eight and a half by eleven inch page. Or there. So we're going to put that right in there. I think I'll attach it with some. Let's attach it with some painters tape here. If I can find the beginning of it, here it is. And get that in there as much as I can. this journal more of a keeper than an art journal. It, it is an art journal, but it, I've been using it as a keeper of all my experiments and projects and things that I do in my stream. Now I could write behind here. Let's write Happy Mother's Day. You could write it on the you could write it on the Happy Mother's Day. You know, it'd be fun to make a photocopy of my own mother. Of a photo. Make a photocopy of her photo. And, uh, see, I think it's May 9th. May, not today, but Mother's Day is May 9th, I believe. And let me move this foil up a little so you can actually read it.
way it wants to stick. There we go. If I wanted it to stick, it wouldn't. And I use some of that decorative washi tape, some of that small stuff on my chick the other night. Let's see if I have it. Yeah. Let's use some of this. Across here. And I don't know how this is going to stay in, but there we go. I'm real happy with how this turned out. Now, that's not going to... I need a thinner piece here. Even if I put it there, I think it'll come off. But we'll give it a try. There we go. There's my experiment, foiling on a report cover sheet. I think it turned out really nice. I can see some possibilities of some things you can do with this. So thank you for watching. Like I said, this is just my private art journal. So uh, it isn't like I'm selling all of this stuff. I'm just experimenting in my art journal. See even if I can foil on a report cover. And I think it turned out nice. Thank you for watching. I will see you Sunday night. And bye for now.